9 inch beam, about 5,300 pounds. The trailer is uh, fully licensed for high wages and it's uh, 2,700 pounds. So I could use a half ton pickup to just tow it. The uh, boat itself is made out of uh, strip plank hull with fiberglass, two layers of fiberglass mat inside and out, so it's a fiberglass wood sandwich. Decks of plywood with uh, layers of uh, glass cloth with epoxy resin. All the fittings are either aluminum or stainless steel. The engine is a diesel and has a uh, 1.8 and 1 reduction. The color is bronze as well as the shaft. It's uh, cable controlled uh, from the steering with the cable and chain and uh, has a uh, stainless steel shaft, rudder stock rather. Uh, the propeller was set up for the engine which is 20 horsepower and about 2200 RPM on the engine at cruising speed. The uh, keel is uh, a steel I-beam with extensions and could be modified uh, with extra ballast if it was necessary. Uh, you have the transom gate with the latch and swim step boarding platform combination. Uh, the ensign is on a stout pole that can be leaned against to hung on to. This goes back to about a hundred years or so when we had uh, large flags and ensigns on boats. How old is this ship, this boat? Okay, the boat was built from between 1977 and 1979 okay. uh, in my shop. And uh, first launched in 79, she has only 25 hours running time and has been inside my shop, inside storage, uh, all the time she's been on the trailer. Been up to the Stockton Delta uh, twice with a party of six, a day party. The stainless steel anchor, which is a hair shop or fisherman pattern from a while back. It's about 25 pounds. Uh, when you're underway, this anchor would be at the bow, draped over the bow for easy uh, anchoring. And normally on the bottom, it sets like this. But uh, at the bow, it would hook over the bow, about like that, and be ready to cast off immediately. Uh, that's all stainless steel. Uh, there's a lunch hook, a small anchor, and nylon road. Uh, these are paravanes that will be suspended from the tips of these tripods, tripod mass on either side. And the uh, scientific name is an anti-roll stabilizer that most of the fishing boats on the west coast use. So when you uh, deploy those in the water, there's a pin this is latched, and the paravane then is suspended by uh, a cable from the tip, and rides maybe uh, six to eight feet underwater, and will then stabilize the boat as she's moving forward. The series of small holes there for adjusting the speed, as uh, the boat goes a different speed, the paravane wants to take a different attitude and uh, has to be experimented with slightly uh, balance of the paravane. There's one on either side. And it can reduce roll up to about 80%. Fuel tanks or midships uh, have four fuel gauges. Uh, the two main tanks are 30 gallons a piece of aluminum and the auxiliary tanks also aluminum are 18 gallons each 
So there's roughly 90 gallons of fuel. I have uh, four class one type uh, life jackets here in the plastic bags and two in the Merkman space forward. Uh, my fuel is filled. There's uh, port and starboard uh, fuel fillers and vents. And uh, they fill up the auxiliary tank first and then it's connected to the main tank on either side. The uh, fuel selector valves are here. You have an uh, additional port for an auxiliary uh, emergency or auxiliary fuel the tank that could be carried in the cockpit like a five gallon jerry can or something like that. Uh, the fuel goes through a valve or electric fuel pump and that's through uh, a doll filter which is a three stage filter with a clear nylon bowl and a uh, petcock for draining off the water. The uh, fuel return from the engine comes through this manifold and is selected either to the port or the starboard tanks. Uh, it's a hot stack with a stainless uh, exhaust system and the muffler stainless muffler is here. Uh, this is the ship's bell. And we have a couple of um, boat hooks uh, from the soft top to the canopy arrangement here. Uh, I'll uncover the engine. Uh, the engine is a uh, Perkins diesel. It's a uh, fresh water cooled, uh, water cooled manifold. The fresh water cooling is with a keel cooler, uh, Cooper nickel keel cooler outside the hull. And that's the only uh, through hull fitting uh, below the water line. The uh, transmission is a uh, aluminum power glide, the General Motors product, and it's been modified and it operates off of engine oil pressure with the selector valve uh, operated at the uh, control station. Uh, you also have a fuel filter on the engine as well as the oil filter uh, for ease of changing oil filters up high. And this is a coolant recovery. Uses 12 volt uh, alternator, uh, Mopar, or Chrysler products. There's a battery switch that uh, selects either one or both batteries. There's a pair of batteries under the, um, the cockpit sole. And as far as the controls go, you have uh, your engine on and off, the throttle and uh, gear shift, neutral, forward, and reverse. Uh, tachometer, oil temperature gauge, well, pressure gauge, ammeter, battery condition meter, and uh, water temperature. There's an electric fuel pump switch, a horn button, uh, which is an automotive type of uh, Maserati car horns. Uh, ignition switch, a dome light, compass light, electrical wipers, a um, cigarette lighter, which I removed. Uh, there's a manual or automatic bilge pump for the forward bilge pump. Uh, there's a manual electric bilge pump aft, and then anchor lights and running lights. Uh, master circuit breaker and aviation type uh, circuit breakers right here. The uh, wheel is uh, made from black walnut. Beautiful wheel. And uh, I used uh, epoxy glue with a little bit of carbon black in there to get the black lines. And the uh, compass is an air glide. Uh, radio wise, uh, for the VHF, we have an ICOM M25D, which I think. I think this is also a 25 watt uh, unit. It can be removed from its uh, mounting bracket. I uh, have just an AM FM car radio and just an inexpensive uh, CB radio. I also have a flasher 
for a depth sounder, which uh, is not good. The transducer is mounted just inside the outer skin of the hull and uh, doesn't project through the hull itself. So it could be used for a different uh, depth sounder. Uh, the accommodation is forward. We have two uh, canvas berths with uh, wood frames. Uh, there's storage underneath the cabin sole and a uh, hatch forward that uh, allows one to work the anchor gear. So let me go forward and stand in the hatch and maybe we can see through. here. And I've also put uh, brass uh, clothes hooks along the inside of the hall. Oh, okay. Uh, this is the key for the fuel filler uh, deck fitting on the outside. And then there's one either side. And you got uh, regular highway flares, but you also have a stainless steel pipe to hold them. And of course, the uh, various bungees and the uh, fenders. The That's the engine and air tape? Right, engine air intake. Engine and air intake, okay. And uh, the exhaust for the engine goes up the hot stack. It has a six inch aluminum pipe, so that it also acts as a vent for the engine compartment. Okay. And this can be turned if, there's, if you're proceeding on a, a fair clip, you can rotate this forward to get a better ventilation of the engine compartment. We have steps on the inside. This is for a uh, fender. Hand holds are uh, through bolted at every, uh, I guess you call this every mount, the stainless steel. Uh, the wood itself is uh, Douglas fir flooring, laminated. So we tried to make this out. We also have a uh, handhold at the cabin top. Running lights. Uh, this is the CB antenna that pulls down. The uh, mast pulls down. And the VHF antenna is at the bow, or at the top of the folding mast. Take the restraint here. Get some uh, details of the trailer. Okay. Uh, the hitch is a surge hitch which operates hydraulic brakes on the front axle. Uh, of course, this is the, the jack for the tongue. Uh, to launch the boat, you have a bow line and pull the pin and uh, just pull this pin and back the trailer into the water with an extension on the hitch of the pickup. And what I do is uh, let the trailer tongue down on an idler wheel, uh, attach the extension, which is about 10 or 12 feet long, and backing into the water, the uh, trailer stays fairly straight with this idler wheel, and uh, the pickup never gets its uh, tires in the water. The uh, boat rests on the keel, as well as uh, pads. Uh, two by six uh, pads, about 12 feet long. The axles are three quarter ton uh, Chevy pumps, eight bolt pattern with lock rim wheels. The uh, full floating axle has been removed, and I'm running uh, engine oil in the hub, and this is a plexiglass cover for the hub so you can see the level of the engine oil. There's also a plug and a fitting so that you can uh, pressurize this hub with about 10 pounds of air pressure from a tire pump. 
and uh, keep the water out of the pub because when the boat is launched, uh, this trailer is about 10 feet deep and with about uh, 5 to 10 pounds of air pressure in that uh, axle, it's a two-wheeler axle that goes from one side to the other, uh, you don't get any water in the hub. Both axles are set up that way. Uh, this is for towing. Uh, you have to put the uh, marker lights at the back of the boat. The uh, guide rails on the side help quite a bit. Uh, the old ramps are fairly steep. Uh, of course, this is out of the water when you're retrieving the boat, and the boat just nestles in its cradle. Once you get the pin in the bow, uh, you just pull right out, and the boat settles into the cradle. This is the uh, after bilge pump out outlet all fitting, which has a valve on the other side, and then the forward one for the forward cabin is forward. That is about it. Oh, of course this is the tripod for the uh, anti-roll stabilizer, the flopper stopper they call it. This is the fuel filler, and of course midship cleats for spring lines.